Welcome to another episode of BioE Macro. Today we're going to check out the first annual Bioengineering Research Symposium hosted by BMES here on the UIC campus. I'm Salman Ketani, I'm an Associate Professor in Bioengineering at UIC. This is the first annual Bioengineering Research Symposium that is really uh, for the students, by the students, and off the students, in the sense that uh, we really want to showcase all the diverse research that our students are doing on this campus and provide a forum for them to practice uh, speaking, uh, public speaking, and uh, really describing their research. So, so far it looks like uh, it's a hit. I'm Grace Brown and I'm part of the Microfabricated Modeled Tissues Laboratory at UIC and I'm a PhD student. The research symposium uh, today gave us a great opportunity to showcase some of our research and to show other bioengineering students what it's like uh, to be in a research lab and to um, be a graduate student. Hi, I'm Abhijit Segu. I'm from UIC College of Medicine from Rockford. I'm from Dr. Matthew's lab and my research is about studying hip implants and how they fail. This is a platform where we can present our work and we get more exposure and it's also a practice for our presentation in a bigger conferences. I think just getting people uh, excited about something for the first time is, is not trivial because there's no history behind it, but I think we we did a fairly aggressive marketing to students and try to explain to them why this is important and then getting faculty to come as well. But you know, I think we were pretty successful in this first year, but I think the next year when there's a legacy, when there's a history to the event, I think people will be more excited because they'll see the benefit a little bit more. My name is Jody Finley. I work in the Institute Nanomedicine Laboratory with Chulu Shokapur. Our project is on calcium oxalate kidney stones. Being here at the symposium is useful because you can observe other students' techniques and see how you could relate those techniques to your research to help you progress more and find different alternatives and will help you raise questions as far as your own material. Hi, I'm Fabio Prodella and I'm currently working in uh, Dr. Ketani's lab in the MTM lab. I think that it's uh, very useful to be here at the symposium because it's the first uh, time for me to, to do such an experience and it can definitely help a student to um, socialize with other people and to be able to uh, improve your um, ability, your skills to present your own work. I'm Shraddha and I'm from Rockford, University of Illinois College of Medicine. I'm here to dress in my work biofunctionalization of titanium surface in the protein rich medium and I belong to Dr. Matthew's lab in Rockford. So over here we get exposure and you know we get to uh, get suggestions from different people and that will help us improve our project and get more ideas about it. So it's a good platform to you know showcase our work. I do believe this uh, symposium was a success and I feel that uh, next year we can invite other people from other institutions and I'm looking forward to having more students engaged so I'm excited. Um, I'm really happy to see all the students who came out and the faculty. Um, for me definitely the number one most exciting thing about having this symposium is that faculty and students can network and we can all kind of form a stronger community of bioengineering um, students and faculty together. So yeah I'm really happy about this. I hope that we can only grow in the coming years with this symposium. Thank you.